Have you ever heard of a bridge built by the devil himself? Nestled in the heart of Germany, amidst the enchanting landscape of Krumlauer Park near Gablenz, stands a monument that has intrigued and captivated the mind of many. This is the Rakotsbrücke, or as it's more ominously known, the Devil's Bridge. A unique structure, semi-circular in design, it has been a lure for both mystery enthusiasts and Instagram influencers alike. Its reflection in the placid water below creates an illusion of a perfect spherical ring. The water, as if under a spell, always remains still, adding an eerie tranquility to the scene. An enigmatic sight to behold, the Devil's Bridge not only defies the laws of construction, but also defies reason. Its existence, its creation, and its very essence are shrouded in mystery. A structure that defies all laws of human skills in construction, the Devil's Bridge stands as a testament to a mystery yet unsolved. Commissioned in 1860 by a local knight, Friedrich Hermann Rotschke, the Devil's Bridge is a marvel of Gothic architecture. This structure, nestled in the lush greens of Krumlauer Park, is a testament to the skill and ambition of its creators. But let's dive deeper into the creation of this intriguing monument. The bridge's construction was a formidable task. It was primarily built using basalt stones, a volcanic rock known for its durability. These stones were secured into place with sturdy wooden beams, a testament to the ingenuity of the builders. But the stones weren't sourced locally, instead they were brought in from the Scandinavian countries. A remarkable effort considering the time, wouldn't you agree? The bridge's design is another fascinating aspect. It's semicircular in shape, a feature that, when reflected in the calm waters below, creates a perfect circle. This, along with the spikes at the bridge's ends, contributes to its otherworldly and somewhat eerie aura. It's not hard to see why some might associate it with the devil himself. The construction process spanned over a decade, Ten long years of toiling and grafting, the builders would have faced numerous challenges from the logistics of transporting the stones to the physical labor of construction, but their determination and dedication are evident in the bridge that stands today. An architectural masterpiece that defies the laws of human skills in construction. But the bridge isn't just a marvel in architectural terms, it's a place shrouded in mystery and steeped in legend. Its name, Rakotsbrücke, has roots in the German language, with Brücke meaning bridge. However, the meaning of Rakots remains a mystery, adding another layer to the enigma that is the Devil's Bridge. With its supernatural design and eerie aura, the Devil's Bridge is a prodigy that took 10 years for its completion. It's a testament to human ingenuity and a symbol of the mysterious and unknown. So, as we delve deeper into the story of the Devil's Bridge, remember, not everything is as it seems. But, What's a bridge built by the devil without a few myths and legends? Indeed, the Rakotsbrücke is cloaked in a tapestry of enthralling tales that add to its allure. One such tale tells of an old woman who, desperate to retrieve her cow grazing on the other side of the river, struck a deal with the devil. The devil, always one for a bargain, promised to build a bridge in exchange for a human soul, however, the old woman, not willing to part with her own soul or that of another human, sent a dog across the bridge instead. Outraged at the deceit, the devil cursed the bridge, ensuring that any who dared to cross would meet a tragic end. Another legend speaks of the bridge's builder himself. It's said that he was so committed to his architectural masterpiece that he bargained his own soul for its completion. As the story goes, when the bridge was finally complete, the builder crossed it, thus fulfilling his end of the pact and surrendering his soul to the devil. The bridge itself, with its eerie semicircular design and its spikes protruding like the devil's horns, seems to corroborate these legends. Its reflection in the water forms a perfect circle, symbolizing the endless cycle of deals made and souls lost. The stillness of the water beneath the bridge is said to be a remnant of the devil's curse, a warning to those who dare approach. The supernatural design of the bridge and the stories that surround it have led many to believe that it may serve as an entrance to another world. Some even claim that on a full moon night, if one were to sail under the bridge, they might uncover the devil's mystic abilities. Such tales of curses and soul sacrifices add to the enigma of the devil's bridge. Whether these legends hold any truth or are merely the product of local lore, they certainly contribute to the bridge's mysterious charm and its reputation as a devilish architectural wonder. 
Today, The Devil's Bridge stands as a stark reminder of these tales, its eerie beauty captivating visitors from far and wide. This masterpiece of architecture which defies all laws of human skills in construction continues to exist, nestled in the heart of the beautiful landscape of Kromlauer Park. Its unique semicircle structure still conjures a perfect sphere when reflected in the still waters beneath, a sight that leaves onlookers in awe. However, it's not just its beauty that attracts people. The bridge is shrouded in a veil of mystery and intrigue, thanks to the numerous legends and myths associated with it. Some say it's an entrance to another world, a portal to the unknown. The spikes at the end of the bridge and its location amidst the forest add to its spooky vibes, making it a magnet for those attracted to the unexplained and the supernatural. But the bridge isn't just an object of fascination. It's also a symbol of caution. Despite its allure, it's prohibited to cross the Devil's Bridge. This isn't just a rule imposed by the local authorities, but a warning that has been passed down through generations. The tales tell us of the Devil's curse, of the vengeance he sought for being deceived. They warn us that those who dare to cross the bridge might end up losing their lives, a price too steep for a moment of thrill. Yet, the prohibition hasn't deterred the curious and the brave. Some have tried to sail under the bridge, hoping to uncover the devil's mystic abilities on a full moon. Others have attempted to see the face of the devil, a sight that's believed to be revealed to those who dare to venture close. But the risks are high and the consequences dire. Dare to defy the prohibition, and you might just land up in death's embrace. Despite this, or perhaps because of it, the devil's bridge continues to be a renowned sight, its mystery and allure capturing the imagination of people around the globe. It's a testament to the power of stories, to the enduring fascination with the unknown, and to the timeless allure of the Devil's Bridge. With its supernatural design and the looming myths, the Devil's Bridge continues to intrigue and bewitch its beholders. It's not just a bridge, it's a portal to another world, a testament to the Devil's craftsmanship and a lingering question mark in the annals of architecture. Even though crossing the bridge is prohibited, its allure is undeniable. From a distance, its reflection in the calm waters paints a perfect circle. A sight that has captured the fascination of many, transforming this enigmatic structure into a social media sensation. Pictures of the Rakotsbrücke flood Instagram feeds, each snap more bewitching than the last, as people from all corners of the world flock to witness this architectural marvel. But remember, the bridge is more than just a picturesque backdrop. It's a monument shrouded in mystery, and it's that mystery that continues to fuel its fame. Equally intriguing is the belief that sailing under the bridge during a full moon might reveal the devil's mystic abilities. As the moonlight dances on the water surface reflecting off the semicircular arch, a sense of unease fills the air. It's as if the devil himself is watching, waiting, ready to reveal his secrets to those daring enough to venture beneath the bridge. Could this be a way to uncover the mystery behind the bridge's construction? Or is it just another story spun by the locals to feed the bridge's mystique? The Devil's Bridge is not just a testament to the past, it's a living, breathing entity that continues to captivate the imagination of the world. Its supernatural design, the enigmatic tales surrounding its creation, and the secrets it may still hold, all contribute to its undying allure. It's a bridge that defies our understanding of architecture, a bridge that transcends the boundaries of time, and a bridge that continues to fascinate us with its mystery. Uh, so, are you ready to uncover the mystic abilities of the Devil on a full moon? The Devil's Bridge, a marvel of Gothic architecture, an enigma of construction, and a testament to the many myths and legends. This bridge, known as Rakotsbrücke in German, stands in eastern Germany's Kromlauer Park, a testament to an era where construction was seemingly beyond human skill. It is a semicircular structure, whose reflection in the still waters below completes a perfect sphere. Commissioned in the mid-19th century by Friedrich Hermann Rochka, a local knight and nature enthusiast, the bridge took 10 years to complete. It's a masterpiece crafted primarily from basalt stones, some sourced from as far as Scandinavia. It is shrouded in mystique with tales of deals with the devil, cursed souls, and spectral appearances. Today, crossing the bridge is prohibited, adding another layer to its enigmatic allure, a structure that defies human skills in construction. Shrouded in mystery and legends, the Devil's Bridge continues to intrigue and bewitch its beholders.